Hello, this is how to sync between the iOS, iPhone or iPad to the desktop using the iPhone box technique. First, you have to download the iPhone box software. Just go to the website iPhoneBox.com and download the Windows version. If you're using the Windows version, and now open the software iPhone box. Open it. Then at the upper right, there's uh, it says connecting to the device so you may check that and you, you have to click your device and make sure it's connected uh, to the laptop as you can see just click the iPhone if your if your iPhone is already connected if it cannot be seen just remove the wire and just place it back again then click the managing app data here you could see the icons and then just look for the patient files icon and click it and then here you will see the data inside it just click the thumbnail view at the upper section and then you may widen that name section over there so you will identify the different names what I would like to do here is just to copy three files the rm admit link pdb the rm patient files pdb and also the rm visit link pdb you can control uh, you can do that by doing a long press for the control key and then click those data then go to actions then go to copy to pc and then go to your area where you back up your iphones just like in this example it's in a folder named patient files iphone then create a new folder uh, with the name today because you're gonna back up those three databases just click save and then you could see it's already backing up to the specific folder so i just chose three uh, three databases for this example now let's open the patient files desktop so that you could merge the three databases that we have backed up. Open your patient files icon and now open the RM patient files database. And then once it's open, click file at the upper left, then click merge database. And then go to browse files button, click it. And then locate the folder that you made where you back up your iPhone. In my example, I place it, it under documents. So look for documents and I, I will look for my patient files iPhone folder and open it. Inside this folder, I will locate the, the one that I just made a backup early. Then open it and click the RM patient files database. Then click open. With that, it's going to merge RM patient files with RM patient files. So, after that, you can uh, click home and then click yes to save. So, we are done with RM patient files. Let's open it again. Open that folder at the upper left. Then click RM admit link. Just do the same thing. Click file and click merge database. Click browse files and then now uh, in the same folder, click that RM admit link, the one that you back up, and click open. So now you have back up RM admit link to RM admit link. Click home and click yes to save. And now click that upper left folder again. And then click the RM visit link. And now once it's open, click that file at the top again. And click merge database then click browse files and now click the rm visit link with that you have already merged the three databases in this technique click home then click yes now you're done now you may now exit this software click file and click exit now let's go to the iphone box again open the iphone box software so you could transfer the files to the iphone in the iPhone box, uh, make sure it's connected. Check at the upper right. And then now go to the managing app data and open the patient files. Here, click copy from PC at the top. 
and then locate the folder of the patient files desktop you just locate it at the documents and easy clinic folder open that folder and then open the my patient 6 once you've opened that just you need to only choose the rm admit link rm patient files and the rm visit link uh, databases don't choose the ones that contains the hdf at the end of the name okay once you've chosen that just click open and this is gonna be copied to your iphone box which heads to your iphone so as you could see it's being copied already it may say take a bit of time and with that you're done and the next thing you will do is to remove your gadget and do a, do a safety removal and then exit in your iPhone you have to do this you double click the home button and then slide out your patient files to really close it then you may now reopen it again and check if the records uh, that was made in the desktop uh, is already there so thank you very much uh, for listening and may this help you